Welcome back to another training vlog. Today is Wednesday. I know we usually do these vlogs on Tuesday, but just because of how training is working out this week and how the week is planning out, Wednesday was a better fit. So today we actually have a normal squatting session and then we have some running. So the running work today is gonna to be more capacity work. So it's an interval session. You won't have seen me do too many interval sessions yet in this block. Uh, due to the fact that most of the training I've been doing so far has been all kind of work capacity pieces, longer runs, slower runs, uh, much, much below race pace running. So this will be more of a kind of race pace session. This will be a bit painful though. It's also lash and rain, uh, which isn't great. So it's gonna be a wet one. Back in the high performance center, stroke, bomb shelter. Uh, <clears throat> gonna do the squat session first. So at the moment, this has been used for a lot of welding and a lot of repairs recently. So there is stuff everywhere. Also, squat racks still aren't back. So we're just gonna use the jerk racks instead, or jerk blocks instead. One top set of squats today. Also, I'm not gonna be power cleaning these weights up today. Um, we have surpassed that point in the program now. Things are a little bit too heavy for easy power cleans. The real thing I'm conscious of here is during the winter months, wasps will crawl into bits of clothing. So you'll see here I've like old training tops and my knee sleeves and stuff left up here and wasps will climb in there like into old pairs of socks and uh and yeah basically die in there but it's not uncommon to pick one of those out and a wasp still have a little bit of uh pep left in their step which isn't a big deal unless you were fatally allergic to wasps things which then makes it a big deal which I also happen to be. So, not that a, a syringe of epinephrine wouldn't be incredibly beneficial to my squat session. I'm sure it would be absolutely phenomenal for my squat session, but I don't particularly want a visit to the emergency room or to A&E this morning. So, taking it slowly. I remember mentioning to you guys last week that in order to be as kind of logistically organized as possible, I was packing everything for the week or most of my training gear into a gear bag like this. So four geese, three or four sets of shorts, a couple of pairs of tracksuit pants, my running shoes, my track spikes, and my weightlifting shoes. And to be honest, it's made a massive difference. It would definitely be something I'd highly recommend. If you do have pretty busy schedule, uh, if you were coming up against the issues like I was coming up against, showing up to sessions without the necessary gear you needed, uh, this just really helped out this week. So it is definitely something I'll be doing moving forward. Now there's no geese left in the bag at the moment, uh, but I kind of replenished it as I go throughout the week and it's definitely made a massive, massive difference. Also, the reason I'm wearing headphones to listen to some stuff is so we can have some video or some audio on these videos so you can hear a barbell moving around things like that but the video doesn't get taken down for anti-copyright kind of stuff like that
That was 160 for a double. Today is the 5RM test that comes kind of two thirds of the way into the cycle. Now, to be honest, when I pulled on my knee sleeves and did that double or triple at 140, I was like, oh, this feels amazing because I thought it was 160. So I'm gonna load on, load on 180 now and then 180 for the 5RM. That's the 5RM done. I made a bit of a mistake. I went to the third notch instead of the second notch in the belt. Um, and just, well, got a little caught then after the set, which isn't ideal as your abs are cramping up, but I'm very happy with that. As most of you will know, I started this training cycle with a current kind of training 1RM of 160. Obviously that was very conservative, so this 180 for five, by no means means I'm after putting four extra reps and 20 kilos onto my 1RM. Simply means that 160 was very conservative at the start, as we always recommend. And then by week nine, which this is, uh, I'm kind of back up closer to original squat strength. But genuinely nine weeks ago, I would have very much struggled with 160 for a one. So I'm really happy with that. Legs are pretty shot after that. So going to recover a small bit now, then do my running and then get into the office. So back to the office now. It's horrendously wet and windy outside. I need to do those running intervals, but to be honest, I'm probably gonna leave them till this evening, give myself a bit more time to recover. Right now, I have another hour and a half of emails to go after the hour I've just done. And I must edit this video so it's ready to go so you're watching it right now. So those intervals are gonna have to wait until this evening or tonight, just before I go to bed. Thanks very much for watching another training vlog. If you want to come and train with us and be coached by us and attend the lectures by us each evening, we have a training camp coming up. We have two camps coming up. One for weightlifters, one for general athletes. So one is an SNC training camp. It's three days, a lot of educational content, a lot of programming content, and then two sessions of training every day as well. And then the weightlifters are gonna have their two weightlifting sessions every day and a lecture each evening for five days. So the SNC camp kind of sets you up for your year of training. It's gonna be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The weightlifting camp will be Monday through to Friday. If you want more details, seekastrength at gmail.com and we'll get you all sorted.